I'm terribly uh, uh, sad to report that uh, we've lost uh, K-9 Roscoe. And uh, Roscoe, uh, he uh, made, it, made it through the night last night. Um, and was seemingly, you know, we were very positive about his uh, uh, outcome today, but actually it's just uh, was not good and uh, had a rough morning. And so, uh, so with that, he's, uh, uh, as the end result, you know, succumbed to his injury. So, um, Roscoe was uh, about three and a half years old, German Shepherd, and uh, we acquired him in March of 2018. Uh, he officially became certified uh, in August of 2018. So he's uh, he's been with us on the on the road since August of 2018. Uh, his, uh, you know, his handler, uh, of course, you know, uh, was involved last night, and of course, it's just a very tough situation for him. Uh, a lot of people have already identified who he is, and actually, he is uh, just being overwhelmed. And we and we appreciate the fact that so many people are reaching out to him with uh, uh, showing him such love and stuff. But he he asked just to please, uh, you know, let him have his privacy, and he is just he's so overwhelmed with messages and everything, and uh, there's no way he can even begin to respond. So, uh, but uh, you know, officially, uh, Roscoe's end of watch is is today. So, uh, very sad news. He was he was a very good canine, one of our best canines, and it's going to be a uh, huge loss for our department. And, uh, and, and especially for his uh, canine human officer handler. Uh, so uh, here in a moment, Greenville County is going to assist us with uh, an escort. He's, uh, he's going to be escorted uh, to a local hospital where uh, cremation will take place. And of course, we'll, we will be uh, honoring Roscoe in the near future. And we'll keep you guys updated uh, as, as to uh, th those arrangements. Can you tell us what Roscoe, as far as like, he, was he with the narcotics unit? Is he with, I mean, obviously yep. the canine unit, but yep. like some of the, the cases he's been on. So the, uh, a lot of narcotics related cases, uh, you know, he is a, uh, his handler is, is a uniform officer assigned to the uh, directive patrol unit. And so they work very closely with narcotics and of course, do, you know, do a lot of narcotics types uh, stuff. They also do a lot of proactive uh, duties and details. Um, and so he has been uh, uh, just a, a very, very successful canine. And uh, that's why he, and he's certainly going to be a big loss. And of course, you know, um, as you know, you get attached to your canine partners. And, uh, you know, uh, God did a very good job in designing and creating uh, dogs. You know, they're truly man's best friend and uh, man's protector. And, uh, I truly believe that uh, Roscoe is, is what kept our, our human officer uh, safe last night uh, to where he's able to go home. So there's no doubt about that. Uh, he certainly, uh, Roscoe certainly did his job, did his job well, and, uh, and we're going to miss him. I see officers from not just Anderson County, but also deputies from Greenville as well. That's right. Well, as That's far right. away as Charles. Yes, so uh, we've had an outpouring of support. I, I, I can't tell you uh, how many sheriffs, almost I think every sheriff in the upstate has contacted me, uh, just, you know, sending their sympathy and, and, uh, uh, but, and also other officers and deputies from other agencies. We're just, uh, you know, we, we appreciate the support. Uh, you know, law enforcement is a, uh, you know, it's, it's obviously a very, uh, interesting and different line of work and uh, the the ties that we have uh, with each other and other agencies this is it's a tight bond and so we appreciate our brothers and sisters from the other agencies that are showing us so much love and support and I appreciate uh, Sheriff uh, Hobart Lewis here in Greenville how much he's uh, he had a Greenville County deputy here with our with our officers uh, throughout the night and morning they never left our side and so uh, we appreciate uh, his support as well, and uh, especially since uh, we're standing here in, within his jurisdiction. So, I appreciate it. Can you go into any kind of detail as far as what Roscoe did last night that was 
just so exemplary of how he acted in the line of duty? Well, you know, he did exactly what he's trained to do, and that's, uh, you know, track a uh, suspect. And, and uh, you know, and it was, it was one of those situations where Roscoe knew where he was going. And that's, uh, the, you know, you, the, the officer uh, you know, behind him doesn't necessarily know what's coming up, but uh, he, he, uh, he, he found the, uh, you know, the perpetrators. And, um, and of course, uh, he, he did his canine duties and, and uh, you know, did, did exactly what he was trained to do. Uh, he, there was, I would say, relatively few people that could avoid being tracked by Roscoe. He was just, uh, he was he was very good. A lot of credit goes to his handler, though, too, because his, his handler's done an uh, outstanding job uh, keeping him so well trained. And, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a lot that people don't, people don't understand. You don't just have a dog and, and put him in the car with you. There's so much training. There's so much time investments made, uh, not only monetary, monetary investments, but time investments. It's, uh, it, is, it is something that... Uh, takes a lot of time and dedication to be a canine officer. I don't think people realize the sacrifice they make because, uh, you know, even even off-duty, they're working with their canine partners. So. Any update? I know it's an evolving situation. Any update further on the case so far? Uh, you, well, you know, SLED's investigating the case, and, of course, you know, after uh, after we had to, uh, you, know, un un you know, the unfortunate situation, it is what it is. We had to engage uh, the suspects, and of course, you know, at that point we we stop and protect the uh, you know the scene, get the sled there to investigate, and of course they're handling all that, and uh, including uh, now the death of Roscoe as well. So, um, you know, so we'll uh, let sled do their thing, and, uh, and I'm sure they'll be extremely thorough and do what they do best. Sure. Yeah, to be clear, can you tell us how many? Uh, there's two suspects involved last night. Yeah. Can you tell us anything about the deceased? I mean, are you guys familiar with him? No, no, ma'am. I'm not. So um, you can confirm that the deceased is a male? Yes. Yes. Can you confirm that the second suspect was injured and like played that was a female? Yes, I can I can confirm that at least. But uh, as far as their identities and where they're from and all that, that, that would have to be uh, from Sled, of course. Any relationship or motive? I'm sorry? Any relationship or motive that you're aware of? That you can share with us? You know, uh, I don't understand why criminals sometimes do what they do, but uh, you know, certainly uh, there's always a. Uh, uh, sometimes they they flee, and sometimes people make really really bad decisions in life, and so you know, and, and you don't really know the whole circumstance. You don't know what. Uh, uh, that person's facing or going through, or if they're wanted for other things, you know, there's there's there could be just a uh, you know, a huge inventory of items that, that could have taken place last night, and uh, we're just we're so thankful and uh, so thankful that God protected our uh, two officers that were involved last night, and uh, and you know we we thank God for Roscoe being there and doing what he did because uh, I. I believe with all my heart if it wasn't for him then we we, we may have a human ho uh, officer that's uh injured or killed even so what would you like to say to the suspects i don't have anything to say to what would you like to say to the legislature that we've had hiko with, right. with anderson and sure you know it's just everything with that just kept stalling and stalling and stalling uh what would you like to say to the legislature like about the high code, uh, the high code. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, it's, uh, I think once, you know, some of our legislators, I think, realize, uh, and it's, it's been with great effort, I think, uh, multiple officers who have lost uh, their canines in the line of duty certainly have uh, been able to help our legislators understand the time investment that it takes, the monetary investment that AC makes into a dog, the amount of training. And so it's, it's uh, something that should not be taken lightly, somebody injuring or killing one of our canine officers. So, uh, you know, but um, I, I hope that, uh, and, and this is probably never going to stop happening, but it, if and when it does, I hope that uh, our judicial system takes it seriously and, and prosecutes to the fullest. So. Thank you,